What a perfect day for football we've got here. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith alongside me. Premier League football we have for you, it's coming right up. Nottingham Forest against Manchester United. Should be a good one. A lot of talk about the tactics these two managers are likely to employ Thank beforehand. We'll game. soon find out. In comes the challenge. Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out of that player there. Lost the ball. did well to reach it but he couldn't keep it Good appreciation from the crowd that uh, their team throwing men forward all over the shop I just keep thinking back to that save Martin I mean you have to think it's only a matter of top threads it through time to size up the situation in front of goal that's a straightforward effort really for the goalkeeper catching practice the attacking football played by Manchester United has brought full reward. They're the top scorers. Yeah, maybe they'd fancy themselves to grab one or two here, the form that the strikers have been in. Here's the yacht. Mbappe. It should be! The last line of defence, but how strong he was. At Goodison Park is Alan McAnally with goal news. It's a goal for Liverpool. 12 minutes played, 1 0. Thanks, Alan. Tackled well. Yates. Dembele. Referee says play on and gives Manchester United the advantage. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. Spotted that well and intercepted. Shielded it well, that's good skill. And they're going to have to restart with a throw. Now Milinkovic Savic, Chilwell. Here's the yacht. They've regained possession here, Nottingham Forest. Well, they're getting the ball forward. They need to do that. Maybe he'll cross it here. Throw in to come. for a teammate arriving late goes for goal what a chance to take the lead and the referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside Dio Upamakano Chilwell Milinkovic Savic let's hear from Alan McAnally now about a goal in the Chelsea game it's a goal for Chelsea 29 minutes played good vision Dembele Defender, I think, has shown him inside, but here he goes. We had to come back here quickly, as you would understand. Sorry to Alan McAnally for that. Just to make it clear, Chelsea did score in that game, and they now lead by that goal, 1-0. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attacker to chase. He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. Frankie de Jong a little bit risky this manoeuvre of dropping off because the ball will keep coming at them and they won't be able to get out Mbappe wonderful reflexes to make the save from close range well, that's a short routine here cuts it back well Mbappe and he saw the danger and snuffed it out throw in here It's with De Jong. 
being urged on by their supporters, Manchester United, as they try to get a goal that will give them the lead. He has cleared it well. Here's the yacht. Let's hear from Alan McAnally about a goal in the West Ham match. It's a goal for West Ham United. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Save. Well, maybe even the keeper was surprised that he got a hand to that. It's short the corner this time. Defender on his toes. Doesn't want to lose it here. Referee has blown and he's given the free kick. Omar Kabi. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two. Look very good indeed, but the move has broken down. He's gone in strongly and got the ball. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got it. And setting the ball rolling for the second half, Manchester United. Now Milinkovic Savic. It's with De Jong. Now, can they make this count? Keeping the ball well in a dangerous area now. Goal news in the Everton game, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Liverpool. 48 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. United, as you can see, got a firm grip on possession, but I don't think the manager will be happy down there watching this performance. He would have been expecting more. The fans would, and I was. You have to feel that they will step it. To go in front now. Good deep cross towards the far post. Well, here it is. The first goal of a game that they have absolutely dominated. Very good play. Defence opened up again, but the difference is this time that they put the ball past the goalkeeper. Good finish, and they're looking a very classy side at the moment. It is certainly the kind of match that we thought we were coming here to see with the better team playing the better football. Yeah, and they've handled that expectation, haven't they, in terms of being strong favourites, so fair play to them for that. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture, Nottingham Forest, and they'll be hosting Everton. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. Well, let's hear from Alan McAnally, who's got a goal to tell us about in the Everton game. It's a goal for Everton. 57 minutes, please. 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Tries the shot. Good block. What about Manchester United's next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Spurs in the next match in the FA Cup semi-final. Huge occasion, but... And I think it's a one-goal game here either way. And uh, it's got the look of an extremely tight and tense match. Espinosa. Locatelli. Cabin. Timotei Kolodzicak. Intercepted here. Mbappe. Now it's Ashraf Hakimi. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. They can spread the play now. They came on strong in that period of attacking play, but in the end it was disappointing. Milinkovic Savic. It's good football this, keeping the ball and looking purposeful as well for Manchester United. Taking on a couple of opponents now. He's had a go here. Mbappe! And he scores. Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision.
Ashraf Hakimi, Dayo Upamakano, Ben Chilwell, Milinkovic Savic. It's with De Jong. It's good play, this. The opposition can't get at them when they're keeping the ball. The home team about to make a change. You can't knock the fans. They're trying to do their bit to push the team on for an equaliser here. Can whip it in now. Good vision. This might be an opportunity to get level. Really at the extent of his reach to make that very fine stop. Oh, the crowd delighted with this. Maybe uh, this set piece could lead to something. Solid punch by the goalkeeper. An update from Goodison. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Liverpool. It's been scored by Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. He made no mistake after latching on to a long ball, hit more in hope than Guile. 79 minutes played, 3-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Attacking now. Here's Hakimi, floated in, back post. That's a very weak cross from a very good position. Dembele. Well, he has been a rock at the back for them with that sort of tackling. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players down the pitch believe as well here? And looking at my watch, four minutes left. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. And off he goes with some options. They can finish them off here. It's a sterling effort from this goalkeeper here to keep his team in the contest. Well, his team haven't been quite at it today, but uh, he came to the rescue. Good stop. And now we're going to have an alteration. Oh, he's better than that. It's a poor pass. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. There we are, final whistle. Well, that's a 